there are two features of conscious ignorance that should be taken into account if conscious ignorance is to be promoted or facilitated in the classroom. First, conscious ignorance has a certain structure. It has parts and relations. It should not be considered as a passive construct consisting basically in lack of knowledge. In the second place, conscious ignorance is built. It is actively constructed depending at least on individual and task variables. We should consider these two features in turn. We will consider structure first. The fact that conscious uh, ignorance uh, has or could have a certain structures, part and relations could be illustrated in a study carried out by our group where university students following an introductory physics course were instructed to read short paragraphs like the one on the screen under two conditions. They had to ask questions in order to carry out a comprehension text test in the next session, the following day, in one condition. In the other condition, they had to ask the necessary questions in order to solve the problem described by the text in a next session the following day in the same class. We were interested in looking at the questions that the students asked under the two conditions. But in particular, I want to illustrate the fact that uh, conscious ignorance, some structure could be identified in conscious ignorance made explicit in this situation, in particular in the understanding situation, in the understanding condition. We were able to identify components of conscious ignorance in a condition of reading for understanding. Uh, the unknown students were aware of could be classified in three main categories. In the first place, the students were aware of unknown entities. These were made explicit through questions that we termed association questions, such as, what is a rheostat? Then students could be aware of a second type of basic unknowns related to explanations. They wanted to know why the processes mentioned in the text or even the objects mentioned in the text were as they were. And they asked questions that we termed explanation questions corresponding to explanation unknowns made explicit by questions such as why are waves curved? And the third main type of unknowns that could be identified through students' questions were unknowns related to consequences. Students also wanted to know what were the consequences of the processes mentioned in the text. And they asked questions such as, what happens when a keel breaks while sailing? What is the consequence of this event? Therefore, these three were 
three basic components of the unknown that students are aware of when they read a short paragraph like this for understanding. How are these unknowns distributed? Are students aware, equally aware of the three types of unknowns when they read for understanding? The results show an overwhelming majority of explanation unknowns compared to association unknowns or prediction unknowns. In fact, prediction unknowns in this and in other similar studies, studies always uh, appear as a minority and very few unknowns of this type are found by students. So, not ignorance in this case is not constituted by a huge lack of undifferentiated knowledge, but there is different ignorance of the three elements or components that we have distinguished in conscious ignorance in this condition.